welcome to the Orchid Saga. My name is Joachim Wiersma, also known as EJ. So this is my blooming update for the month of June. Uh, yeah, the sound might sound a little bit different. I'm still with my old camera, uh, but I don't wear a mic. Hopefully now it's a little bit better. I have some troubles with my uh, mic. I had a new camera, but I cannot uh, get it to work properly. So yeah, some difficulties, but still I wanted to do this update. So I uh, would uh, ask you guys to bear with me. I'm trying my best. <laughs> and I'm starting with my uh, La Elia Purpurana. No, it's not Purpurana, it's Tenebrosa. And sadly, yeah, it's almost going over uh, again. I couldn't keep it nice and bloom for the update, <laughs> but still. It's, uh, you can see, it's a beautiful uh, plant and uh, very large blooms, but sadly going over already. Next to it, this one is just opening up. So it's not going over at all. And look at this, these four, four beautiful blooms. Oops, there goes the tag, I'm sorry. And this is the name of these uh, beautiful blooms, this beautiful plant. So that is this one, absolutely stunning. Absolutely beautiful. So that is this one. Next to it we have still blooms on this Miltonia that I did get from Landsbergen. The open house. Catlea's final blue. Still in bloom. Beautiful. And then something new. I had it in bloom before, but not in updates this year. Look at this beauty. I, I love the shape of these blooms. And it has another one over here. I hope you can see it. There it is. And we have even two more spikes. Yeah, the blooms are so stunning, if you ask me. I love, love the shape. Absolutely beautiful. And this is the Postechia Mare, Maria, Maria. <laughs> there it is. And then, yeah, some are going over, as you can see, but still quite some blooms here on my uh, Apicatleia. What, um, um, oh, I cannot read it. Uh, here we go, I'm sorry, guys. And Seclia, of course, the, the Pensis variety Alba. That are these beautiful yellow blooms. Beautiful. Luckily, this one, uh, bloomed for quite a while, despite, uh, or in comparison to the uh, <laughs> Tenebrosa, sadly. But anyhow, that is up here. Then over here, this is a first time bloomer for me. It's a fairly new plant as well. This is my Barrasavola Cucullara. Cucullara. Um, it's just opening up, so maybe the shape does will differ a little bit I'm not completely sure and plus it's very warm today I had a I had a feeling that it would spread out the sepals and petals a little bit more but I'm not completely sure but look at this absolutely stunning and here we have a bud so I will have two blooms look how long the spikes are I believe that's a part of the spike and then we have from here you can see the color difference, the bud is starting. So that is over here. Let's have a quick update. We have still have some uh, fells in blue. Um, go! And I will do a few more later on that are on that side. Some summer bloomers. But still a few over here. And this one, yeah, because it's so warm, that's why uh, I have my fans running in the background. But look at this one. Beautiful, beautiful cluster of balloons. So that is over here. So I'm sorry for the fan noise, but it's, I cannot do it without, it's so warm. Look at this beauty, also coming from Landsberg. And this is probably my most favorite one because I love the red in there. It's such a happy, very, the yellow, is, is, it's such a beautiful combination of colors. And uh, look at that. They have quite some blooms on this one. And this one is doing so well. So happy, it looks so amazing. We have so many roots on here. So yeah, stunning. Then uh, my Russia Mystic Maze. It has quite a, a longer name, but if you search for Mystic Maze, you will find it. A beautiful spike, let me uh, 
go back a little bit. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Those are so amazing. Very nice, the spidery one. And I just saw that this one is starting to open up as well. This is officially a no ID, Miltonia. But I think it's something with the Bloom TI. Beautiful, I love this one. I absolutely love it. <laughs> then I have my spotted sunset over here. You can see some blooms have uh, some spots on them, so I keep, keep calling this my spotted one. <laughs> because right above it, I have the one, the sunset as it should be. There we go. I hope you can still hear me. <laughs> But that is the Mil Miltonia Sunsets, so both of them. Then look at this big beauty. This is my Ambrosia Orange Delight. Some blooms are going over now. And some are just opening up. <laughs> so far I had six spikes. We have a large spike over here in the back. Look at these beautiful blooms. And we have one over here. Turn it around. I'm right under the van now. I'm sorry again, but absolutely beautiful. I love it when the plants grow so big, and then especially when they start to spike. It's it's amazing. It's beautiful. And we have more brushier types over here. This one is uh, done blooming. This is the Torero. Still in bloom. This is the spike I showed before, but I have another one over here. Just opening up fairly fresh. Absolutely beautiful. And we just saw it already a little bit. This is the uh, Brushy Eternal Wings. And this is one spike of it. Look how beautiful they are next to one another. But it has another beautiful spike. Look at this. Cascade of blooms. It looks so beautiful. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, Rene Marquez is also stealing a little bit of the show. I have yeah a mini bug over there. I need to spray it. I will do that after filming. And then this beautiful dendrobium. I try not to rush it, but I have so many in bloom, so I don't want to take too much of your time. But this is the Dendrobium Oriental Dark Red. So that's why I don't have them in the screen too long. Like I said, but they are so stunningly beautiful. <laughs> it's such a beautiful spike. And I'm sorry for the backdrop. It's, it's like I said, it's quite a bright day. And this, the next one is uh, Oriental Bloody Red. That is this one. Oops, I'm sorry. Do it like this. It looks very similar, but the color is different. They look very nice together. So those are here. Then I have a um, Dendrobium phalaeopsis up here, a purple one. It's hard to film, but. I said it's hard to film, I'm sorry, I'm not sure if you could uh, hear me. <laughs> Epidendrum. And again, different color. I did that before, I took a picture and now I see another one. Funny, right? It has more cream in it. The rest is more white and then one creamy one. The red one over here, the red dragon. And then I have a red yellow. Over here. And then we have another Dendrobium friendly abscess. This is the blue happiness over here. That's just starting to bloom. And then we have the Anna Green Splash. And I never ever had such a huge spike on this one. I love the color combination. That green and purple work so well together. But look at the spike. So yeah, I think it's doing better. And it's even making another one that's not as tall, but yet still. Oh, whoops. 
the uh, chocolate banana, banana chocolate. <laughs> also beautiful spikes. Let me open a look at this one. Very, very long. So they really enjoy that, enjoying their life, especially when it's warm. <laughs> then the polar fire. Another spike here, one here, and a bit of a spike over here. And they had some snail damage on there, sadly. Yeah, also very, very pretty. Then the largest one of the Dendrobium family options that they have, Spring Eclipse. Absolutely beautiful. The spikes are never that long. This one had trips and I did break it, I believe, while watering. But it does make another one. You can see we have some damage here. And here is another one that I just sprayed again. <laughs> the trips. Flip strips. And this is still in bloom. This is the um, Tokanara, probably the Nora. Nora Tokanara, the Gobium Nora Tokanara. This is a nice fresh bloom, very fresh, I believe. And in the back, we have more fresh blooms. And I have still a little bit of a short of bloom on the Roy Tokanara. These two were in bloom for ages, for months and months and months. Stunning, absolutely stunning. So yeah, we have spikes on that androbium and I have more spikes over here, there in the back. So we will have more in the near future. Uh, my sherry babies are hugging. <laughs> Maybe you can see the difference. This is the uh, red uh, ruby doll, I'm sorry. That is this one and this is the more regular warm cherry baby so you can see the color difference but the spikes are both very top heavy and now sort of hanging together here which is fine by me <laughs> oh the fragrance you guys it's fantastic look at these absolutely beautiful and some noblies still in bloom look at this beauty these are fresh blooms keep some blooming this one Luckily, it's also working on a new growth. This one opened up some new blooms. As well. Beautiful. And then here, look at this. This is my uh, Dendrobium Victoriae uh, Regina. We have, these are the oldest blooms. You can see they are changing color. There we have new just opening up. And here a cluster of blooms. Oops, sorry for the shaking. Isn't it beautiful? You can see the color difference. And I think especially when, when you have warm days, it goes a bit quicker. But quite some blooms. It's the best blooming so far on this one. And now the biggest plant as you can see. But it's getting there. It is getting there. And then, oh, names, I, Dendrobium Rainbow Dance, still some blooms on there, a few over here, and you have pollen, also a little cluster from fresh, fairly fresh blooms, over there, look at this, isn't it beautiful, this is my Dendrobium Hibiki. What a beautiful cluster of blooms here. And we have even more in here, up here. Absolutely beautiful. Like I said, Dendrobium hibiki. Some fails while we're here. One on the coupon. A few beautiful spotted one over here. So yeah, the fells do not really like the high temperatures, especially when they're blooming, I should say. <laughs> Did you see them already? Oh, I hope I can film these guys fairly bright, because this is my Vanda Mocha or something, but look at these blooms. Stunning, right? Stunning. Sadly, tip is dying back, so I, uh, did, like I said, did spray them for thrips. And here, oh, so happy with this one. 
as well. This spike is so much stronger than the last time I did bloom. This is my gift from Inse. No name for this one, but look, and we have more blooms to come. Last time they did break the spikes, but this one is so much bigger, I already can see, and it's very strong. No support. It's just growing upright, upright on its own. That means that it does get the energy that it needs. I think it was a little bit in shock uh, because of uh, the transport, something like that. I'm not completely sure. But uh, yeah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And this is also such a nice fail. Look at this bloom. It's a bit waxy, so you see some shine on the bloom. <laughs> This is the name for it, if you want to know it. You can pause the video. There is that one. And then we look at these guys. Absolutely beautiful. Can I take the plan out? No, not really. If you really want to know, let me know. I will give you the name. I don't know it from the top of my head. But if you don't want to fail, I don't mind. Just ask me and I will give you the name. We have this one. Also so beautiful. <laughs> and this one is a very nice and fragrant. Just on the up. Her blooms. Um, here's the tag. Here we go. Citric. Okay, yeah, type of fragrance. So if you like citric, it likes to bloom. So uh, it will give you quite some blooms, I, uh, I believe. And a beautiful fragrance, just like the Riodoro. Fragrance is not the same, don't get me wrong, but uh, <laughs> this one smells fantastic as well. And then this one opened up some new blooms. And I'm not completely sure, this one as you can see it only has two leaves left. It just started dropping the leaves. I did my uh, check, my pH check, but everything seems to be fine inside of the pot. It has roots, uh, so I don't know. Why it is dropping leaf. This one is also starting to yellow, so hmm, I, I have no idea what will happen with this one. So yeah, maybe this is one of the last spikes, one of the last blooms, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, if you don't know it, you cannot change a thing, of course. This is the beautiful yellow one. There is there. So this is probably for now it in a greenhouse. Let's go uh, inside my orchid room where it's a little bit quieter at the moment. So we have, well, these are now going over. And this Meltoniopsis over here. But these are still around, beautiful lilac color ones. Look at that. Look at the heart shape on that lip. I love it. I love it, love it. And here we have the Breckler's Brilliant. Still in bloom. This almost a white one next to it, and the vision of that one is over here. Those are there, and then we have the red one, and it bring it back. Look at that, beautiful. Because the, the leaves were darkening up, so I thought I need to bring it back underneath the lights. New spike, more spikes, but a lot of spikes, and that is on. The uh, Princess Diana. Looking good. And her neighbor. Also looking very nice. And then this Odonton Glossum. Probably mixed with a Miltonia type. <laughs> the beautiful blooms. Over here. Let me see. So we have some blooms dropping on the floor. <laughs> that is also uh, things that happen, of course. My yellow um, Masdevelia. There's another bloom over there. And then I have the black velvet over here. Still quite some blooms, as you can probably see in the back there. It's doing well. Doing well. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we have still some blooms on the Alkmaar, Odontoglossum Blossom Alkmaar, but they are starting to fade, as you probably can see. 
then above that one we have this one. Let me see. Look at that. This is the Memoria Donald Yamada. Over here. Whoops, I'm sorry for the leaf. Such beautiful flowers. Very happy flowers. And then a new one. Not a first time bloomer, but a new one for updates. The Black Tiger. Uh, Black Tiger Star. I don't the gloss on Black Tiger Star. Stunning. I really, really love this one. Beautiful spike. There's the one next to it. This is the Odonto, maybe Odonto Cidium, Odonto Glossum, uh, Tiger Tail. Well, at least I have it as a Tiger Tail, I'm not completely sure, but it looks beautiful with a bit of sunshine. And maybe you saw this one has a fairly yellow leaf, I know, this is one of the Landsbergen, the Bialara. I hope that new growth will start to grow. Again, anyhow, it's a blooming update. <laughs> So that is here. They look beautiful in the background as well. There we go. And then I have a few blooms that the spike did get stuck on this uh, Meltonia. This one is probably better. I hope you can see it a little bit. Rosalie variety Santina. This is actually the same one. This is the tag. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful yellow Miltonia Upsis. Took me years to find this. So I bought three of them, <laughs> just to be sure. This is a no ID, but oh my, oh my, what a beauty. It's freshly starting to bloom. And it has another spike over here that's even longer. It's going all the way there. It always blooms for me with, uh, with two spikes on one bulb. I love it, but I cannot give you a name, I have no idea. I have it for years now, I think at least for four years, something like that. Maybe even longer, I, I'm not completely sure if I bought it with one bulb or two, but you can see the green ones, one, two, three, four, four years of growth. And it's doing better. The bulbs are, uh, I think a little bit bigger than before. So that's a good sign, of course. Then another favorite, a Sturbik. Odontoglossum Sturbik. Or on on CDM something. I uh not completely sure, but that is this one. It's from the Inca Orchids. This one I also have for years and years. It is quite a nice sized plant. Soon I think I'm going to repot it in a more maybe in a net pot or something like that just to keep it get it out but yeah absolutely favorite i love the red color on there beautiful 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 then look at this this one was the last time also uh, it had those two and i think a few over here it's now uh, fully opened i do have a name for it and it's fairly long so you might want to pause it if you're interested in this one here we go that is this one. And it has that beautiful fragrance. This one is such a beautiful fragrance has this one. Absolutely stunning. So let's move on. This is quite interesting. Beautiful bloom, nonetheless. It has beautiful colors. But I couldn't find it on the website. This is from uh, Equigenera, but I did get it as a mix of these two. Odontonia, Anna Claire, and Odon Oda White Spots. Spotted. Yeah, I think something went wrong with the tags. If I look at these blooms, I'm not completely sure once again, but it's okay. It happens, but it happens. Uh, I hear more often with Equigenera. Not completely sure. I had it happen now two times. One time, well, actually, I thought three times, but one time was a Miltoniopsis, and that was a, that was labeled uh, right, correctly. But I had a different plant that wasn't correct, and I think this one is also not correct. But I'm not completely sure. I'm not gonna bother because that order was 
a year ago, maybe two or something like that. Beautiful blows, but I have one that's very similar to this one. But anyhow, it's doing fine and it looks great. It has a beautiful spike. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it. And we are almost there, you guys. I hope you're still with me. <laughs> we have two more blooms over here on my Pinocchio. And again, double blooms. And we have the new ones coming already. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. This one keeps on blooming. So uh, the name Pinocchio uh, suits it very well, I believe. Look at how long that spike is. Oops, they are now a little bit uh, moving. <laughs> And the plant itself looks wonderful. My best do really well over this corner, in this corner and in, in this setup. They are really growing. Slow growers, but you can see the leaves there. It's just uh, amazing. This is the Pinocchio leaf. And yeah, if you have a strong plant, you get these beautiful spikes as well. Of course. So let me quickly check while I'm not trying to make you dizzy. If I did forget something, which happens all the time, as you probably know by now, did I forget something? So far I cannot see anything that I did forget. <laughs> so, uh, well, while we're here, it's not in bloom technically, but look at this. This is a spike, yes, and we have another one, a very huge one over here. This is my Odontoglossum navium. There's the tag. And look how the plant looks. It's really starting to grow well. It did okay, but uh, yeah, I did repot it not that long ago and it looks so healthy. So I'm not completely sure what changed, but uh, it, it was okay, don't get me wrong, but I think it does look somewhat strong. Maybe because the plant is older, but yeah, the spikes are uh, very large, as you can see. And we still have a new growth over here that hasn't a spike yet. So that will be... Uh, Pretty soon in my updates as well, I believe. So anyhow, you guys, uh, like I said, if you want a name or something, please let me know. I'm happy to give it to you if I have it. And if I didn't have the name, but you know the name, please let me know as well. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that I next time I have my camera ready. Uh, but I, I will see. I don't have much time to fix it yet, but it will be solved. I promise you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye-bye.